It is here that I feel my skill lies. And this is exactly why I do what I do. Where do we stand as of today? In the last handful of years, the forces of government and nationalism have amassed an unprecedented arsenal of destructive power. The power is in the current arsenals of the world, if restructured into Hiroshima strength weapons, to detonate one bomb every minute, on the minute, for the next two years. And the rationalization, the rationalized need to do so is becoming manifest at a frightening pace. But in the last handful of years, a number of tools of communication have increased at a like rate. There are currently nearly 200 psychedelic drugs known and described, some touching at one, some at another of the fibers that unify our minds. By learning each of their structures of sensory communication in turn, we might find a form of communication that would disarm our destructive compulsion. And indeed, what form of tools are now available to us? Some of the tools that are available, or rather that have been available, are the widely publicized drugs of psychopharmacology, such as mescaline, psilocybin, DOM, LSD. These drugs played a role in defining the transition between drugs as entertainment, escape, turn on, and drugs as instructive vehicles for learning, enlightenment, and insight, but at quite a price. They had a high profile at the time that the scheduled drug laws were written, and thus were made illegal and are not available. However, in their place there are now many, many other materials, some more limited in their instructive capacity, and some perhaps even richer. And for everyone today, there will be ten tomorrow. Let me describe a small sampling of the recently born materials a bit, in, a bit more in detail. These are examples with some quotations in some instances of experiments in which there have been actually definitions of some aspect of sensory teasing apart of the complex sensorum attack and uh, uh, effects that these materials can have. DIPT is an abbreviation of nn tryptamine, a drug unique among the psychedelics in that it expresses a distortion in, or to an extent, a synthesis with the process of auditory integrity. It is perhaps one of the less available senses to be teased apart for special study. Many of the close relatives, as you well know, deal with the, audit, with the visual process and in some way will change or, or synthesize or modify the visual integrity, but a rather interesting distinction between the drug-induced psychosis and endogenous schizophrenia is that very often in the latter, the uh, primary sensory uh, uh, character that is affected is the, is the auditory uh, influence. A quotation following 20 milligrams of DIPT. The telephone sounds partly underwater. Here are signs of a pitch change on radio. The absolute pitch down a major third. Chord on the piano sounds out of tune, quite flat. Music terrible, unlistenable. The other senses seemed in no way affected. If I were deaf, I would have thought this an inactive drug. Several hours after ingestion of the material, this note. Hearing normal, piano back in tune. <laughs> MDMA, or MDA, is abbreviation for 3,4-methylene-dioxy-methamphetamine. It's a tool of communication that has shown in recent years an extraordinary utility in opening communication between individuals. This has promoted its use in psychotherapy, but has given promise as well as a vehicle for interpersonal, intrapersonal communication. This particular drug has been used clinically in many applications, and these today in a no, probably number in the thousands, and it has commanded a remarkably good record of positive results. A quotation following 120 milligrams. We kept up a lively conversation, covering many interesting aspects of our various family relationships. The conversation was use unusually insightful and free of defensiveness. And following a 40 milligram supplement at the two hour point, Jean glowed with energy, became very beautiful. We talked freely and openly. Every bush and plant looks utterly alive. I am entranced by, the lar by a large rock. As I look at its surface, I see the surface of a planet with mountains and valleys. Little crystals of mica are like jewels. Another material, 2CB, is the abbreviation for 2,5-dimethoxy for bromophenethylamine, a tool and a word of vocabulary which ties the mental process directly and constructively into the physical soma. 
The analgesic effects experienced with many, if not most, of the psychedelic drugs are not present with 2CB. On the contrary, there is an increased body awareness of every kind, including skin sensitivity, heightened responsiveness to smells, tastes, to sexual stimulation. When experiences increased consciousness of physical health and energy, or, on the other hand, sharpened awareness of any body imbalance or discomfort. 2CB allows rich visual imagery and intense eyes closed fantasy without cluttering up of the mental field with too many elaborations. A quotation following 20 milligrams. Along with the awareness of the body and the ability to deeply enjoy the fact that one is a physical as well as a spiritual being, the experience of 2CB allows exploration as far as one needs to go. There is at all times full connection with all parts of oneself, the emotional and the intellectual, the intuitive and the instinctual. It is a superb tool for learning and for growth. And 2CB allows one to recover baseline within six to eight hours using a maximum dosage of 25 milligrams, usually lower in the area of 18 to 20. Another drug mentioned earlier, ketamine, is abbreviation for 2-orthochlorophenol 2-methylaminocyclohexanone, the antithesis of 2CB, in that it effectively separates the mind and the body. This allows the mind a separate and constructive state apart from the physical groundings of the body. Although the primary clinical application of ketamine is as a dissociative anesthetic, an increasingly important direction of study is now being directed to the psychological loosening that it allows. MAL and CPM are abbreviations of the compounds that are fascinating analogs of mescaline, namely 4-methyl-3,5-dimethoxyphenethylamine and 4 cyclopropyl methyl 35 dimethoxyphenethylamine two compounds that activate opposite sides of the sensorium. The former provokes an intense visual distortion at the retinal level with consequential bizarre interpretations. The latter displays its effectiveness in the fantasy counterpart, seen only with the eyes closed. Following 65 milligrams of MAL, a quotation, within two hours, intense effect, beautiful, diuretic, good connections between parts of myself, continual fantasy and imagery, lovely experience of the erotic with husband. Around 12 hours, excellent solid sleep with clear, balanced dreams. Following 70 milligrams of CPM, a two hours strong effect, but no visual. Wonderful locking into music, deep loving, erotic, very good. With eyes closed, intense, colorful fantasy, much like LSD at times. No sleep before 18 hours. Thus anyone should have the impression, by the way, that research in this area leads always to God, and to insight and to deeper experiences in loving, let me mention an example of a compound called 4-TASB, which is 4-thioethyl-3-ethoxy-5-methoxyphenethylamine, following a 100 milligram exposure. At about two hours, pleasant and positive, peaceful feelings, very good humored. Later, sleep impossible until early morning, and then only about two hours. All next day could not rest or sleep. Feeling of nerve endings raw and active, anxiety over heartbeat. Frightening effects on nervous system. Depression, back of neck sore from tension. My first experience of being able to detect what felt like continual electrical impulses between nerve endings. Had the impression that if I allowed the wrong sequence of images to flow in my mind, I might experience some sort of convulsion, or might at least a kind or at least a kind of mental shock or shorting out. When I tried to sleep, eyes closed fantasies became intensely negative and threatening. I could not smooth out the nervous system felt very vulnerable. Do not repeat. <laughs> alpha ODMS is abbreviation of 5-methoxy-alpha-methyltryptamine, an analog of a neurotransmitter serotonin that has been tailored chemically to allow it to enter into the CNS, into the brain. It is a very potent indole uh, psychedelic that touches closely on those areas involved with primal energies. Several researchers experienced dreams of catastrophic events after exploring this material. One researcher, however, had a dream which involved as a complete science fiction scenario. He found it absolutely enjoyable and is still thinking of writing it up and sending it into a publisher. <laughs> These are only about a half a dozen or so of many scores of fascinating compounds that are now available for the study of this developing vocabulary. This is where we are at the moment. Some materials show incredible promise and some suggest caution. But what might we expect to emerge in the future? Let's look at the past history of other areas of psychotropic chemistry.